What up, DC? It's the boy DC White. Checking in with my man Pat is dope about to do this interview. Shouts out to Hood, Rich, Street is X, No Prescription, Street's Addiction. You get down on live mixtapes right now. I'm coming for you, niggas. It's Pat is dope, and I'm here with White, DC White. Who gave you that name? Shit, uh, my partner Wink. Uh, locked up right now, uh, at this time. Uh, Start giving me the name. He gave me the name White Boy, but as, as I got older, everybody just stopped calling me White. How did the grind start? Did, did, did you participate in any sports? You know? Yeah, uh, high school, boys and girls club. I played uh, football in DC. Okay. Nigga was so good, I had to go to PG to play high school. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, was the man. We played y'all in high school. Yeah, most you know of what I'm saying? That had me and you met. You know yeah. what I'm saying? High school football. You know, so everybody knew everybody through that. They uh, eventually graduated to the music, and that was through the go go band. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We had a go go band while I was in high school we were doing shows and shit. I was the lead mic. You know what I'm saying? Stuck with that shit. We was doing that shit for about two years hard. After the go go ended, we went to the music. All right, so you left the DMV win, and, and you basically transferred your whole grind to the ATL. Uh, I left uh, DC 2010. Um, really was just on the more of a new scenery, new 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 vision I had. Just wanted to get away from home. Atlanta being the hottest city for the music, why not go there and try to turn it? So do you feel Atlanta is, is, is hip hop? Yeah, Atlanta is definitely hip hop. The songs that's getting played in the club, the songs on the radio. Everybody in Atlanta that drop a song get paid. Bookings, shows, hosting, verses. It's a busy cycle that everybody busy. That if you putting in the work, you're gonna stay busy. You're gonna see the money come out of it. It really, really they people take you who you for what you come off as. Mm -hmm. If you come off as a fly nigga, getting bitches, got the money. People won't be interested in you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to really say much. Okay. Them folks want to know what you got going on. Then before you know it, you network. You know what I'm saying? With somebody that they might be a millionaire. I'm talking Just, to I'm talking to a few people and they remember the um what was it, Dead Bodies video or what was it? What was it? You dead faces. Dead, dead faces, dead oh, faces video. They like, yo, where your, where your man at? You know, right. when you pumping his music, it was like, what a year ago? What happened? Where's the setback? Mm -hmm. Where the mixtape? Where the, where the visuals? Where, uh, where's the stuff at? Uh, I dropped the tape March. Mm -hmm. Live mixtape, DJ Screen, Shouts Out to Blue Rich, No Prescription Streets of Fiction. I dropped that in March. Uh, had a little legal. I've I been mean, having legal trouble since 2010. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On probation, on papers. Really, really holding me back from traveling and doing a lot of stuff that I want to do with the music. I gotta separate this from that, you know what I'm saying? This is what I gotta focus on more. I got Young Chop about to be on there, uh, Purse Beauty about to be on there, um, and a few other cats about to be on there, so really everything that I'm doing is gonna turn up a little bit more. All right, so Fat Trail just got this big deal. Shouts out to the Fat Man, shout out Fat Glees. Shot Glizzy has been buzzing. Buzzing, you about to get some of too. Light Show has been doing his thing. Doing his thing. Fill Out Day has always been consistent, doing his thing too. Right. So when, as you sit back in the ladder, what are you thinking? I, I feel like the door opening for me at home. Uh, that I start coming home a little bit more. Mm -hmm. you know, definitely, you know what I'm saying, your name and your reputation ain't going to hold forever if they don't you see, that, see that face consistently. Mm -hmm. I got my own sidewalk executives. Mm -hmm. That's my own label. Oh, just so you got the so, LLC, the LLC, LLC, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why? Yeah. Why not just focus on yourself? Like, why put more pressure on yourself with a label? You know I'm pushing my, me, me, myself is my artist, you know what I'm saying? Same thing Ross did, got itself through the door. Then once you solidify your name, you could open up the door for other people. So what's up with the line? What they wearing out there? Those special shit you can buy. Cause the Migos? He goes cool, shout out to Coach K. You know what I'm saying? Who was not that Rich Homie, you know? Rich Homie, shout out to uh, TGI. Rich Homie, shout out to Young School, the Mojo, Old Lisa Nine, the crew. Uh, 
who the hottest young nigga and who the hottest young nigga in in the land right now that's that that could be compared to a shot Lizzie and like show and all them type of people. The hottest young street nigga. I'm gonna say the hottest young nigga. Cause the hottest young nigga probably right now is K Kang. Mm. Had his young street niggas, probably Jose Guapo. Man, that's um, you, man. Man, Guap, man, Guap got freestyle together right now. Uh, okay. Dropped last year. But, you know, people be so busy working on trying to get they self in a situation. You know what I'm saying? They forget about, bro, I got to do a song with you. What's the biggest goal coming in the 2014 for white? Um, the biggest goal 2014 is to start getting some calls. Pushing to, pushing to, pushing to be the highest next nigga. So what do you think about this Kanye West situation? Kanye? And all these, all these racks he's talking about and, you know, all these favors he's asking for, yeah. all the support. You, you, you say, you know, you failed the first time, so that, but if you, if you had the support, you might not fail. Right. So you feel like you have to, you know, sell yourself to get the people. Yeah, yeah. And then the people make you happy and you just stay on the pedestal. Yeah, your fans definitely make you happy. So you have to appeal to the folk. You have to... Kanye goes about it with controversy. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay away from controversy, just stick with a hard grind. What's the biggest DMV publicity stunt besides maybe respect with the tech? If we can say that, so um, publicity stunt, but I'm not gonna say that's not a, I, I think that's the biggest risk right now in the past, what, five years? Yeah. That a DMV artist has ever taken to get in the game. Yeah, but other than that, what, what do you think? That was the biggest publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. Because look what the name of the song is. Respect with the tech. Everybody know what DC about. Mm -hmm. So for a dude from DC to make a song, this is another dude from DC. Yeah. And the song is about respect with the tech. That'd be the wildest, that's the wildest thing the band could do. It's the hottest club in Atlanta. Compound. Shouts out to H E E T. What you want to tell the folks, you know what I'm saying? We're asking who the fuck is this nigga that you're interviewing right now and we want to hear some music. Uh, name's DC White. White. No prescription streets addiction. Had to stop down the one they mentioned. DJ Scream, Hood, Rich. It's on live mixtapes right now. Go get it. All you gotta do is search white, Twitter at white boy at white A1 DC. Twitter at white A1 DC. Instagram at white A1 DC.